In this video, we're going to introduce you to rebounds. And a rebound is whenever you use a part of your body to change the direction of the counterweight while you're doing a trick. There are all different kinds of rebounds. So you have hand and wrist rebounds, you have arm rebounds, you have leg rebounds, and you even have hip rebounds. So pretty much any part of your body you can incorporate into a rebound trick. And the trick that we're gonna teach you today to introduce you to rebounds looks like this. So you start in an electric fan, and then you do two arm rebounds and two wrist rebounds. Arm and wrist rebounds really are the most frequent type of rebounds that you're gonna see in 5A tricks, so it's really important to master this. So before we actually teach this trick, first we need to go over the proper technique for rebounds. So when you're watching your favorite 5A player do tricks, it might look like he's just smacking himself with the counterweight to make it change direction, but that's actually not right. If you smack yourself with the counterweight, you're not gonna have as much control and it's gonna hurt. Proper technique, it shouldn't hurt and you'll have much more control. So to do it properly, what you're gonna do is swing the counterweight and then instead of just smacking yourself, you're actually gonna wrap the counterweight around a little bit. And then right after the counterweight hits, you're gonna pull off with the hand that's controlling the counterweight and then let it come around. When you pull off, it keeps the counterweight in line and you have much more control, right? So whether I'm doing arm rebounds, I wrap around and pull off, or if I'm doing wrist rebounds, it's wrap around and pull off. Leg rebounds, same exact thing, wrap around, pull off whatever part of your body you have to wrap around and pull off. So now that I've drilled that into your head, we're ready to learn the actual trick. So first you're gonna to wanna to start in an E-fan like how we taught you in our E-fan combos video. So once you're here and the counterweight's spinning, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your throw hand elbow and point it straight forward and turn your throw hand so that your palm faces you, right? And the counterweight's gonna swing over and land on top of your arm. And you'll see right here that the counterweight is resting over my arm and that I didn't just smack my arm. If you're having a hard time getting the counterweight over, uh, you can just try increasing the size of the E-fan and giving yourself a little bit more string right there. Once the counterweight is resting over your arm, what you wanna do is you wanna bring your throw hand really close to that shoulder. That just aligns everything better and it makes things a little bit easier. And then you're gonna to wanna to swing your throw hand down like you're swinging a hammer and you wanna swing the counterweight in front of this trapeze. So I'm gonna swing my hand down and the counterweight comes under my arm and it rests on top. And you'll see that I pull my hand almost all the way into my armpit. That's just to give the counterweight string as much length as possible so that it can come all the way around. And then once I'm here, I'm going to pull my hand up and out and drop my elbow so that I pull back into a standard E-fan. From here, we're gonna move on to the wrist rebounds. And when you're doing these, it's really important to keep your throw hand above the yo-yo because if you don't, the trapeze is gonna fall right out of the yo-yo. So for the first wrist rebound, you're gonna wrap the counterweight under. And when you're doing this, you want to turn your palm so that it faces straight up and point your thumb so that it faces your opposite hand. And I'm gonna curl my hand under and let it go around my wrist. Then right after the counterweight makes contact, I'm gonna pull off and then I'm gonna swing the counterweight over my wrist onto the opposite side. And right after it hits my skin, I'm gonna pull off back into a standard E-fan. After you've mastered the basic rebounds and you're ready to add a little bit more challenge to the trick, or you just wanna make this trick look a little bit more impressive, you can start adding yo-yo motions while you're doing the rebounds. So if you learned our last E-fan video and you remember the yo-yo motions from that, you can add those while doing this trick. So you can do double on trapeze, double on undermount, and then you can add Eli hops while doing the wrist rebounds. That just makes this trick look a little bit more impressive. And that is introduction to rebounds.